Dear friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The sensor I have used to measure 420 milliamps is this Nivelco, which has 420 milliamps output and supply voltage 12 to 30 volt DC. This is the Nivelco sensor I have used in our tank, irrigation water tank. More than half amount of water is already available in our tank. This is the power supply module which will convert 230 volt AC to 24 volt DC. This will provide power supply for our water level sensor. In this terminal, you can see there is a fuse carrier which will give power supply from our power supply module to the water level sensor. Inside the fuse carrier, there is a fuse available. We are using 2.5 ohms glass fuse for the water level sensor. You can see the glass fuse that we are using here. Now I will insert the fuse to the fuse carrier. From the terminal, you can see this is a 24 volt supply going to the water level sensor. You see the uh, from the fuse carrier out, it is going to the water level sensor 24 volt. The cable below the 24 volt is the return cable that we are using to measure the 420 milliamps. The diagram here shows how to connect a two wire water level sensor to a controller and transmitter. Transmitter here we use is the water level sensor from Nivelco. This is our controller where the level sensor feedback is connected. Based on the 420 milliamps feedback received, it will show in our BMS graphics. In this terminal, this is the return cable where we connect it. Coming back from our water level sensor, two wire system, right? So the return cable is connected in that terminal. In order to measure 420 milliamps, we need to remove each cable outgoing section and the incoming section of the terminal so that we need to connect this multimeter probes in series please be note that during this removal time the 24 volt plus of the dc 24 volt should be connected for to measure milliamps we need a milliamps measuring multimeter i am using now fluke there is a milliampere provision and also common provision we need to connect these two cables in the milliampere and common next the dial should be rotated and should be selected in the milliampere position and you can see it's in ac mode so we this the sensor is in the dc mode so we need to change it to dc in the multimeter you can see the dc is now on now to measure uh, we need to connect the probe in series with the return wire need to connect in the return wire coming from the level sensor after connection like this you can see from our multimeter so you see 12.69 12.7 milliamps of dc value we are getting that means more than half of the water is available in our tank you can also see that when i remove the fuse the value goes to zero that means our sensor have no power thanks for watching my youtube channel for more technology related videos and for more uh, troubleshooting videos please subscribe my youtube channel and please hit the bell icon thanks